Trump. This video is going to discuss the changes made to boss spec and major spec. Before I get into that though, I just want to remind people, if you're not already subscribed, that you hit the subscribe button for more sarcastic videos like this. So getting into the change, on screen you're going to see the changes that they made to the boss spec and major spec. Which these changes went under the radar and a lot of you are either oblivious to this or you're in denial about it. It's one of the two. So this is what it states. Mods, major spec. Fixed an issue where mini bosses were incorrectly included in its effects. Boss spec now correctly damages uh, boss spec now correctly increases damage versus mini bosses. What this means is I knew it, I knew what it meant straight away because it doesn't say champs. But when I read it, it basically means champions are now used for boss spec. You use boss spec for champs. They are counted as mini bosses. Mini bosses are in the boss spec category. So We've been using major specs since 2019, which is roughly four and a half year now, right? Since Shadow Keep. Four and a half year. What they're saying is major spec has been bugged all this time. Just let that settle in. Major spec has been bugged longer than what the, the original D1's life cycle was. Are they watching GMs? Are they watching people do the GMs? Are they looking at people's loadouts? I would hope they are after that amount of time. Okay, I hope so, but it sounds like they're not. Do your research. Bungie needs to do their research as well. Research your players. We research them. They need to research us. I can't believe they've just done this now. It's baffling to me. Anyways, I picked upon this change. Some of, us, some of you didn't because you were bamboozled by the weapon changes, and that's probably what happened. People miss things from time to time. It's fine. So... The strategy going forward is as follows. You want to run boss spec in every single weapon that you that you have. It's as simple as that. That's a short answer. right? The long answer for that is this. When you're in Grandmaster content, you were going for platinum rate and you were going for loot. Unless you're doing well record speed runs and stuff, going for bronze runs, but you speed run, but you aren't doing that. You 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 specifically listening to this are not doing that. Unless you're on speedrun.com uploading. If you are, tell me. But I bet you no one watches this who is doing speedrun.com. In any case, the most important thing in a GM is champions. That is it. So, you need to buff your damage against champs. This is true in Fireteam and Solo. Solo GM advice, run boss spec in every single weapon type. Fireteam advice... Still do the same thing, but if you don't want to and you want to run some major specs, then at least put boss spec in your heavy weapon. Like, especially if you're LFG and GMs, people have enough trouble in there, right? Don't make it more difficult for people where you're, you're actually nerfing yourself against champs. Please don't make it harder for people than what it already is. I know it's easy for me and I know it's easy for other players who do YouTube content. But you've got to realize players aren't all about D2. Some of them just want to come on, get some guns, have some fun, and go away. So for for teams like that, all of you should run boss spec. It is the biggest priority in a GM to get the champ down as quickly as you can, right, to avoid deaths. It's as simple as that. Minor spec is not something that you should be running in GMs. The reason for this is because you don't need to spec for trash mob ads. If one of you are running a exotic primary, you will one-shot that enemy anyways. Quicksilver Storm obviously won't one-shot, but it'll melt them quick. Wish Ender will one-shot. Le Monarch will one-shot with the poison, etc., etc. And if you're not using an exotic primary, then you're going to use a well-ruled legendary that should be good enough to deal with those minor enemies, which is probably um, a topic for another video. But in any case, you put them boss spec in your primaries, your specials, and your heavies. If you were in a team with me and you ran minor spec, you would have to give me a good explanation on why you are using it, because I would definitely question you on it, whether you're good at the game or not. I would ask you, why are you running minor spec on that gun? I don't care, I will ask. 
I've got a face for anything. I will ask you, why are you running a minor spec? And if, you, if your reason is to kill ads quicker, I will definitely disregard what you've said. I know it increases incandescent damage and vault shot damage. It does. But really, how much more benefit are you getting out of this? You're not. But killing a champ quicker is all... It's more, Even though it's the same buff, this one's so much more valuable than minor spec. Just because, imagine in a GM, you've got no heavy. You've still got a primary, right? And you're still shooting that boss. So you're still getting that boost. So you still want to run boss spec, even even in that scenario. If you can run taken spec, though, run it. Because it's a 10% buff against taken enemies. If taken enemies are in an activity, like corrupted, prophecy and stuff, run it. Because it's a 10% buff to all enemy types. That's minor, major, ultra, mini boss, everything. Anything you can think of. It's a 10% flat buff, whereas this isn't flat, it's for bosses, this is for mages, this is for minor, etc, etc. Just a quick note on Adept Big Ones, because people are going to ask about that. Adept Big Ones is not a bigger buff, it's the same buff, it's the same amount of buff, 7.7, .7, but it adds major spec and boss spec together. So, there might be some utility in that now, because of how things are. So, be putting Adept Big Ones on, no problem. You, you can do it. There's no problem of not doing that. You're still going to get a buff against champs, but you'll get some extra benefit with the major spec. So you can still run that. But for primaries that don't have a dead big ones, then you run a boss spec. That is your choice to run. Don't run major. All right? So that's the information on that. Just showing you an example of what I mean. So, like, say I'm using a barrier sidearm, a special weapon, a heavy. Boss spec in all of them. On a solo GM, it would be boss spec in all of them. I'm not saying this is a solo GM loadout. I'm just saying you put boss spec in all your weapons. In a fire team, you put boss spec in your heavy at the very least. And probably probably, probably your special as well, to be honest. It all depends on what you're doing, but most of the time, you're running boss spec in everything. That's just how we're going to do this going forward. The clips coming up are going to just show you the numbers to reflect boss spec, no boss spec, and, and showing you that major spec does in actual fact not work on champs anymore. So the upcoming clips are just going to show to you the evidence that major spec does not increase damage against champions. So we're first going to try it with no mod. To be safe, let's establish a base number 3119 with this particular sidearm. Stacey Surge is on, but don't worry about that. We're just trying to see if there's a difference between boss spec and major spec. That is it. So no mod equipped, 3119, base number. Let's have a look um, with Major Spec. We're getting close enough to champ, so there's no range drop-off. Don't worry about that. 3119, the same number. Oh, well, Major Spec is a relic of what it used to be. Like I said to you, it's a buff, this. It's inherently a buff because you're going to have boss spec for champs and bosses. So in my, in my mind, this is actually just better overall. So... Let's try it with boss spec. Is it higher? There you go. There's your proof. 3361. No need to go on Reddit. No need to say this or that. Okay? So, it's higher number with boss spec. I've just shown you the number. Right. Let's try it on a heavy just to be certain. You've got you to be certain about these things. So, boss spec, what's the number? 5828. Right. So, let's try it with major spec. I can already tell you now, as I say, it is lower. So, that's the information on it. Do with it what you will. I'm just saying going forward, especially solar GMs, you want boss back. 